Welcome everyone to the exercise number 8a. In this exercise we will concentrate on querying data, um, selecting data and also finding and hyperlinking data. So first of all I, I have already opened the exercise number 8a which contains three layers. They are called streets, neighborhood parcels and other parcels. So um, let's assume maybe you have a little agency um, which um, covers the, or which will administrate the information about these parcels and there's a client going on uh, going over and say well I would like to buy a parcel which is cons or which lies on a corner uh, in that area so how to select these features you will have the identify function to get an idea about the feature so well let's say this uh, parcel belongs to Mr. David R. Castellinos and uh, there's a property number, you have information about the number of bedrooms etc uh, etc et but um, you would like to select all um, all corner parcels. First of all um, in the normal setup of ArcGIS um, if you identify a, a feature there's always a multiple selection of um, of shapes in your work uh, in your in your project. So you can adjust that by clicking on selection and selection options, uh, which will give you some possibility to adjust the selection tolerance by well the cus or the default value is five pixels. Let's assume that I will show you how how this influences the result. You can see I've just clicked once and I will get six different results around my clicking location from the pointer. So I will adjust that back to zero pixels. Nope, no, that was wrong. Well, maybe, well, yes, taking the default of zero. Um, so um, in the moment when I'm clicking somewhere, um, the exact location is determined on my on my desktop and we'll get an, uh, an, an overview about the attributes of the uh, corresponding polygon. What else can you do? Um, first of all we would like to select all features that are on the corner. So there are possible or there are different uh, interactive selection methods. First of all or the default is create new selection. So when I'm selecting a feature with that tool, select features by rectangle maybe, I'm selecting this and a new selection is that one. If you change that back to or to add to current selection, you will have something like an ongoing selection process. So I've just selected this one, now select this one, once more this, this, and this, which will go on uh, until you stop selecting process. But we will clear selected features and we will stick back to the create new selection because I would like to use the shift key to get um, a list of selected features. So I will now just select all the features that are located on a corner so this 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 and not this but this I think we are finished now yep all the corners are finished are selected and you can see now the attributes of that by clicking on open attribute table. Now only selected features are shown in that attribute table. In our case there are just 8 of 510 features selected so um, you won't find it hard to get an overview about, um, about the uh, values. So what have, what have happened here now? Oh fuck it. I will just 
go back and uh, have to do the selection process again so stay tuned with me here we are this one and one more or I think four more huh. a lot of corners available in that area so here we are so now no one more is missing where is it always the same with you so there it is now we have selected our eight um, parcels yeah normally if you have well selected 500 or 1000 features you would like to get an overview and a quick overview about your data so you uh, um, some kind of ordering will be very helpful now you can order uh, the features by just clicking on the title of one attribute like the sale price right clicking on that name and say well I would like to make it sort of scanning so the lowest possible price is 83,000 for a house with two bedrooms and uh, well square feet 1200 and one and a half bathrooms and no pool available and the highest price is 166,000 so this is one possibility to, to better get a better idea about your data just by ordering your data now um, close that view again and one more thing is maybe well you are interested in finding an address well the client has already an idea about the address here has a visit the location you would like to find that so there's a possibility to choose the find function here um, and well let's say you would like to find a location called 831 Washington Street uh, which should be available in not all visible layers but in neighborhood parcels this um, selection means that you will decrease the area or the de decrease the amount of data you have to search for which is quite useful if you have a lot of features available in your project so we'll now just reduce um, the search locations to neighbor parcels and I would like to search not all, in all files but in one certain file which uh, if I field in all fields uh, I would like to search in, in a field called of course address and now I'm doing I'm searching for all addresses um, which are similar or contains this search string and there's just one um, possible location found and by right clicking on that I will have an overview about how to flash it so there's a flash on that location you can pan to which concentrate the view on that you can also use zoom to which is quite uncommon because if you click there well a big big polygon is then accessible so we'll just go back to the view um, this is a quite common and useful tool to search for addresses um, for field IDs like well parcel numbers or something like that but if you would if you would find something like this in the number of bedrooms well you know it's good to search for for um, distinct strings but not for that kind of values where you have okay I am now listed here all features that are or that have two bedrooms available um, well it's not that good to get an overview about that field so I will get to this problem in the next video by selecting using SQL statements so this is for the moment um, by using the find function one more thing is there's this hyperlink feature or the hyperlink function um, you can not only store strings and numbers in your shapefiles as we have done it here you can also store um, metadata or images or uh, documents as a hyperlink in your data so there's this uh, column called image and there's a relational path called uh, to a folder called data 
and there's a link available um, um, which will present something like an image about the house so what we can do is we can s double click on that and there's a possibility to use hyperlinks and support hyperlinks by using a um, distinct field in our case it is called image and it is in hyperlink to document so by clicking OK the hyperlink function is now available by using that you will have a new surrounding this blue line and you can now have a view on the document with your um, default file type association pro associated program in our case it's a image preview this is the example from the book and so you can easily get or save information also um, to your to your data in ArcGIS and um, this is very very useful um, to get a better idea about what is your what is your this polygon about so you can go to your customer and say well there's this there's the image about the front uh, of the house you can uh, you will have an idea about the house itself and the corresponding garden and maybe which it's worth the price or something like that so thank you very much for watching take care and goodbye